Bye. Day 125, Osho first in the morning, page 7. Those who are knowledgeable will have to put their knowledge aside if they really want to become wise. It is not ignorance that hinders wisdom, it is knowledge. Hence, knowledge is real ignorance. The first thing you have to learn as a sannyasin is that all you know is not real knowing. It is not your knowing, hence it is not real knowing. Put it aside, it is all garbage so that you can not know. You are looking through others' eyes. How can you see? You cannot see through my eyes. That is impossible. You have your own eyes to see. And it is true not only for the outer eyes, it is also true for the inner eyes. You cannot live in a borrowed way, and that's what people are doing. That's why the life is just an imitation, a carbon copy. It has no beauty, no joy. You can't see any dance in it, any celebration in it. Only the original dances sings. Only, because only when you are original do you rejoice. Uh, that gets me to think about, you know, in relation to the martial arts, just this sparring, for example. It's like a lot of people, everybody watches fights and boxing. Whatever sport fighting, where they might see people on the streets fighting, or they watch videos of police chasing people down, or they see videos of street fights. But to actually be engaged in a combative situation yourself is an entirely different story. And same thing with people that watch sports in general. You know, you have like a football stadium might have like over a hundred thousand people watching. However many people on the field and there's a lot of criticizers saying oh you know you should have done this or you could have done that and, but the fact of the matter is when you do it yourself it's a completely diff different experience so um, when you spar like it's, you can't just watch a bunch of other people spar you gotta do it yourself and really see for yourself like what the truth is you know and you can't just believe something just because somebody told you. Even if the person is an expert or a master or a professor or a doctor or whatever, you still need to experience it yourself. Experience it yourself in order to truly know what's real. You know, so um, martial arts, I think, is a, a great tool to help you understand life um, because it's it's these truths translate to life as well, you know. Like people could read books all day about love, but it's not the same as actually experiencing love, you know. Um, and martial arts is a good foundation to, to use as a language to understand truth. A silent language that has no, something that, um, transcends the, the verbal but you, you know you'll see it time and time again you know when you think about the sparring and you think about your experience in it and what works what doesn't work um, that's your truth you know um, I can tell you you know a lot of times I'll tell you certain things you know don't put your hand don't don't have your hands down don't turn your back, to, you know, um, don't do this, don't do that, don't kick high, don't, don't kick high too fat, too long, you know, too often. Those are my truths based on my experiences. I mean, you could use them as guidelines, but ultimately, you know, you have to figure it out on your own through 
experimentation. And then, then you'll see for yourself. You don't need me to tell you. You already know. You know. Like you know, like your your nose is aching right now. <laughs> so you gotta figure out like what the hell happened. You know, like your nose isn't just ache out of nowhere. Something happened where you either walked into the punch or you didn't block or you didn't move. Or something happened, you know? It's not like you were asleep and then he came at you and he hit you in the nose while you're sleeping. That's my story. You're wide awake. You know, we, we bowed before, you know, you're ready. You know? And then. <laughs> you're ready, and then now your nose is hurting. So what happened? So you gotta figure it out, you know? That's why I like to film it so you can analyze it, but it didn't get caught on camera, but when you don't film it, then you just have to base it on memory. And you know how bad some of our memory can be, right? So, just like in the wooden dummy, I show you something like four times and you're still like, what? Show me again? You don't want to get hit in the face four times and be like, show me again. <laughs> like, hopefully, if you're smart, you won't get hit and you still learn. Not that smart, then you gotta get hit a few times in order to learn. Oh, thanks. Throwing <laughs> that out there. <laughs> so. Oh man, we should get slapped in the next week. <laughs> <laughs> the quicker you learn, then um, then the the safer you'll be when it comes to the sparring. So, because it's not like chess where they take your queen and then. Physically, you're okay, but they took your your best piece, you know. But sparring, you get hit, shit, you know, it's gonna hurt. So, try not to make that many mistakes. But there, that's the thing that's really annoying, you know, when people that don't know nothing about martial arts or combat, and then they have all of this, all these judgments and criticisms and. And my thing is, hey, you know, why don't you do it yourself and see what see what what you can do with shit. You know what I'm saying? No, no, I don't wanna do that. Kick ass with energy. Like what? No, no, I don't wanna do that. Sorry. You know. That's that's annoying, you know, but just don't be one of those people. Criticize, basically criticize yourself before you criticize other people. Find out what you can improve upon and focus on your own development. Don't, don't, you know, don't ask, you know, don't criticize other people unless they ask you and be like, hey, you know, what can I do to improve? And you can give your feedback, you know. Um, but essentially, I want you guys to kind of do your best to try to f figure out the puzzle, you know, on your own. You know, I'll give you some of the pieces, but I'm not going to give you thing. There's certain pieces that are missing and I want you to figure it out. So the wooden dummy work a lot of different techniques. Those are techniques that we use in tiger form as well. Um, we do a lot of drills to help you, you know, have some something to work with, you know. Day 126. Every being is unique. God never creates carbon copies. He always creates originals. He believes only in the original. He is truly a creator. He never repeats. But man goes on living in imitation. We are trying to be somebody else, which is impossible. Whatsoever you do, you are going to fail. You can only be yourself. There is no other possibility. But we are all trying to be somebody else. That is the whole story of our failure, the tragedy of life. My work consists of helping you to respect yourself, to love yourself, to accept yourself, and to be yourself. Because to be yourself is the only possibility. You cannot be otherwise. And there is no need to be otherwise. God has created you unique. I'm not giving you a certain character or a certain style of living, but only an insight and awareness so that you can decide your lifestyle, so that you can live in your own light. And the moment you start living in your own light, bliss is yours.
Day 1 to 27. Prepare for the day the sunrise has knocked on the door. Come out of your sleep. Don't go on hiding yourself under a blanket anymore. Howsoever cozy it feels and howsoever much your mind says, just turn over again. Just a little more, a few minutes. Don't listen to the mind because those few minutes will never end. The mind always goes on postponing. It wants you to remain asleep because mind can exist only when you are asleep. When you are awake, mind disappears just as dreams disappear when you are awake. Mind is a dream phenomenon made of the same stuff as dreams are made of. So no more postponement. Wake up. Damn. <laughs> I think those last two you just read are kind of tied to one another. When people imitating other people, at least the mind, like, they are sleeping, they're like, oh, well, I'm this now. It's like, no, like, if <laughs> you're awake and you're aware, it's like, you're you. It's like, no, I'm this. You start imitating other people, and it's like, <laughs> I'm a clown now. Like, no, you're, you're Tom. <laughs> Shen Hell's Spartan Tower. I mean, it was fine. I mean, he. I notice he does a lot of kicks, but it's kind of like, I finally know how, like, you feel, Chris. It's like somebody who's, you know, a little bit smaller than you. It's like, alright, like, how do you go in without, you know, being too aggressive, but yet, like. <laughs> well, yeah. like, man, he just. <laughs> he kept hitting me, like. Did he hit you? Almost, both, on, he like, almost in the time. crotch a few times. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, that too. He kept giving me real lows. The last one, I was like, okay. We can't let any of you come, come any closer than that. It was about to I'm glad he's actually hitting you guys. When I sparred you, you didn't want to hit me. Like, no, I can't hit you, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But that's what's up. I'm glad. What, Tabo was saying that to you? Well, me and Sifu were trying to, you know, get him to know that it's okay to right. hit. He's getting more comfortable with it. Yeah. But then I think I scared him when I hit him in the stomach. <laughs> that was his first day, first time ever sparring. It was me and then it was you. I sparred my first day here and got the shit slapped out of me. <laughs> it was like, it was Dude, like, I, I can't imagine I, I can't imagine having I mean that's the first time I sparred in here it still felt so I was like, Oh, I, I don't think I've been taught anything to do this. <laughs> <laughs> that's what everybody said, but I was accepted better. I was went for it. This is a better <laughs> <So, laughs> how unprepared you feel if somebody wants to attack you out there, they're gonna attack you, you know? You better get it's best to get beat up in here than out there and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> I'm not getting beat up out there. I'm not kidding. <laughs> 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 The other day, also, I get slapped plenty of times. I'm not saying no one gets me. I was just saying that sometimes you feel like you're backing them up into the wall all the time. That's all I was saying. And I still went home with a scratch on my nose. He's like, man, these motherfuckers are soft. <laughs> nah. Ain't <laughs> nobody want to hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still went on a little scrape on my nose from uh, Mark. I, 
I didn't think she would see it until I got home. Actually, my, you know, my lady, she's like, what, what? Did you got a scratch on your I'm like, no. No, I, I'm fine. I'm fine. I was like, I'm like, <laughs> Just in my ears. What? You that that popping sound? Yeah. You hear it? Yeah. That's you? It's <laughs> <laughs> hey. WD 40. It's <laughs> <laughs> hey, supposed to be a 10 man now. <laughs> <laughs> my hinges. I mean, if it's not in pain, I guess you just need to go to like massage envy or some shit. Massage <laughs> envy? <laughs> a specific place right there. Yeah, Sixty-five dollars an hour, bro. You can't beat. Uh, I've heard that they it's kind of McDonald's massage chips. <laughs> 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 Don't do it. I was like, really? And sure enough, it happened twice. 
Just oh, walking by, like, you know, someone would be like, come, come on, let me feed you. Like, I they were, like real nice <laughs> about it. It was like, we had not talked yet. This is the first word you're saying to me. Come in, come in and eat in your house. What? Yeah, that would be weird. Like, you're going to invite a complete stranger to your crib? Candy. <laughs> <laughs>